I'm Salsa Dila. I'm Alvareta. Now we will show you a simple canvas game and how to make it in HTML5. Now, let's start with knowing the game first. You can read all of this by yourself to know what is made space and how to play it. We're gonna show you the screenshot of the game and explain it to you. Then we will play the game. This is still easy long with only one digit number, but it will increase as time goes by. When you answer correctly, you will get a score. You can see your score here on the top right of the canvas. Under it, there is your chance. It is a chance of committing a mistake. If it reaches zero, you will lose. In this game, you also have timer. Don't until it reaches zero or you will lose one of your chance. Now, let's play the game. You must find the greatest number and match it with the button. If you can answer 5 consecutive rounds without making mistake, you can get additional chance. Let's continue playing. Let's play again. We must master the game before making it. The longer you play and the higher your score, the digit will increase. Good luck! Yeah, we lost. Let's see the code. Yeah, this is the code. To start a HTML, we use the HTML tag. Inside it, we put the tag of body where you go what we do first here is put a background sound we use audio autoplay to do that we also specify the search which is the music next is making the canvas we specify the canvas ID width and height. Also the background using style. We also use the text center to put the canvas right in the middle. Then we use VR. 
to go to next line and continue with making the button. This is the syntax of button. And click is even. Style is CSS. This button will do draw function when clicked. We also create other buttons which do different function when click. Now let's continue to the script. The text script is needed. First step we do in the script is creating the variable we need. Then create the function which do different job. First is the draw function. We create variable a, b, c, d, and f. This variable will be a random number because we use math random. Below we create a global variable of the variable we had made. Making global variable is neat because the other function will need this variable. Next is to fill the canvas with text. This is the syntax to clear the rectangle of the canvas. Then it is CTX font. This is like a font in HTML. Fill style is the font color. And CTX fill text is where to write the text. First is the text we want to write. And then the position on the x-axis. Followed by the y-axis. Then we continue to the condition for the game. This is the function for the button. This function is for the red button. The red button is connected with the text in the red background which is variable assume a must be greater than other variable. If this is true, the score and the strike will be added. If not, it will see whether the chance is zero or not. If it's zero, bonus chance will be deducted. But if not, chance will be deducted. Strike will be zero because we want to reset it. And mistake will be increased as the answer is wrong. Then we will reset the time to 10 and we will do the draw function. The other cricket function will be the same. We only change the condition making each variable the greatest. the time. We create variable called timer. This timer variable will be given an interval of 1 second. This will make the function be repeated every 1 second. It will also reduce the time by 1 each second. It will also clear the part of the canvas where the timer was written. It will the change it with the I was time. If the time reach zero, it will see the condition of the chance. Then it will reset the time to 10 and do the draw function. The 
function. It is the end game state when you lose the game. It will clear the world canvas and it will show your game statistic. Then it will stop the timer. Retry function is only for reloading the page after game over. We just end all the tag and then save and go to the game. And finally, it's...